Hey, what's going on everyone? So today's video we are talking about color grading Leica SL2 and SL2S footage. Hey, how's it going everyone? So I am officially back from Paradise Challenge. It was it was a roller coaster of emotions. Before I went off to Paradise Challenge, I had just gone on a 10 day cruise around the West Indies and I was only back home for about like three or four days before then I jet set to Jamaica and was quite literally shooting all day every day. I mean, sunrises every day, sunsets every day, and just in between throughout the day, just the amount of footage that I've been going through between yesterday and today has been insane. And so much more still to go through. But I am very thankful and I will do a longer recap video on my experience at Paradise Challenge. Uh, highly recommended, the Jamaica one specifically. And my pure joy of finding the right settings for the Leica SL2 for the autofocus, I think I finally nailed it, guys. Like, I am so happy with the footage that I brought back from Jamaica because the focus was substantially better than what it has been in the recent past videos that I've shot. So I'm super excited to share that with you guys and that's gonna be another video as well where I'll deep dive into the autofocus system a little bit more. This video, however, is going to be about color grading and I am so sorry that took me so long to get to. Uh, a couple of you guys have asked me about how I color grade for the Leica SL2 L log footage. So I'm gonna take you guys into my editing workflow. I've already gone ahead and picked out the clips. I'm not gonna really put them in the timeline with music or anything like that just yet. I just wanna show you guys kind of like the process of how I color grade this footage. Also, please bear in mind that I typically am working with three different screens, so I have my windows open all over the place, but in order for me to show you guys and on YouTube what I'm actually doing, I have to put everything into one screen, so if you see me fumbling around the menu system, that's, that's why. It's because I'm used to a very different setup. But without further ado, let's, uh, let's jump into the computer and start grading. All right guys, so here we are, we're gonna jump into Premiere and here I've laid out a bunch of clips that we are going to color grade. Now let me just, just gonna pick out a couple of nice ones here with a little bit of different lighting situations. All right, that looks good. By the way, hey guys, uh, this is Naya, and I'll make sure to put her Instagram somewhere in the video here. Uh, or down in the caption below, make sure to give her a follow. She is a phenomenal model out of Arizona, I believe it was. Uh, I forget exactly where, but somewhere in Arizona. All right, so, and then I also wanted to include some of these kind of more sunset dark shots here, just so we have a little bit of a range that we can work with. Um, let's do here, let's do this one and we'll do, see a little bit of a close up perhaps, close up, ooh this looks nice here, yeah this shot looks nice, okay. Okay, and then let me do one more clip so I can match it with the other one. We have, let's do, uh, let's do this shot. It's a little bit darker. Okay, so we are going to be color grading this little sequence here. Very nice. Uh, actually, let's cut that off because that's out of focus. So, boom, that looks nice. Okay, cool. 
Great, love that. Okay. And then we're gonna bring this over, get a little bit more direct sunlight here. Awesome, that looks really nice. Medinez. Um, beautiful, okay, I love that. Let's do that movement there. Boom, boom, and then just did that. And then let's just do this here. Boom. Awesome, love that. Beautiful, okay. So that is our blue suit there. And then let's check out our white suit here. Get a couple of shots of her moving. Awesome, love that. The close up, beautiful, love that. I'm gonna stop that right there. And then the lane down, which is really dark. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna bring this in here. Okay, so these are our clips. Great, first things first, I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. And let me actually open up her folder here so I can keep that within the folder. The thing about Premiere is if you are organized with your files, it is it makes editing a breeze, honestly. It took me a while before I actually caught on to that. Uh, I used to be a very lazy editor, but now I try to categorize my footage as soon as I import it and it just makes life a whole whole lot easier. All right, so now that we have our adjustment layers, uh, I'm gonna work off of this one first, uh, this clip here. Now, let's see. Like I said, my menus are usually set up a little different here. So let me make this window a little bigger here. Okay, we got my elementary colors down here. Got my scopes here. Okay, all right, I like that. Let's bring this down a little bit. And we'll bring this down, okay. Okay, we can work with this. Okay, so after we have our adjustment layers and now I've rearranged the windows so I can actually see, I am going to start playing around with the different LUTs that I have to see which one I think looks the best. Now, before you say anything, I know that my LUTs are not loaded into Premiere. I have them in a separate folder on my desktop along with a cloud storage based software that I use as well. That is just my process. Don't ask me why, it's just, it is. All right, let's, so, let's keep going. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna browse and I have all my LUTs here. Leica, let's try the classic Rec. 709 first. Okay, all right. I don't love it. All right, classic Rec 2020. That's what that looks like. Now let's try the natural. Okay, I'm more into that. The natural Rec 709 and then natural Rec 2020. Okay, let me see. I wanna try lifting up the exposure here. So let me see what it looks like in the rest of these clips. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Let's just run that out real quick so it's nice and smooth for y'all. Okay, all right. Cool, 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 cool. Whoa, that looks super red. Okay, so actually before I do anything, let's just, um, so on the adjustment layer is where I kind of make global edits to the footage and then I'll go into each individual clip and adjust the clip accordingly. So as a global edit, I'm going to raise the exposure. Um, let's say, do we want two? Uh, okay, don't really have clipping there. Okay, yeah, let's go, we're gonna raise it two stops. All right, so now that sky is super blown out. That's on me. 
Uh, but I also honestly did not have any sort of reflector or anything. Okay, that's crazy red. Okay. So now uh, we're gonna go into the individual clips and start adjusting each individual clip according to the LUT that I put it. And also if I need to fine tune the skin a little bit, I can do that as well. So let's start with this first clip here. Let's see how much of the highlights we can recover. Okay, all right, I like that. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna raise the shadows a bit. I had a dash of contrast here, not too much. Let's bring that back down to like 10. Okay, I'm gonna keep pushing the highlights. Let's see what this bad boy can do. Okay, all right. Um, I'd say about there, because if I, let's see, if I raise, okay, all right, I can raise the shadows a bit. Cool. All right, now I'm going to bring in some blue because it is kind of the dusk hour. And plus, since the sailboat is this orange yellow, that's really casting off a lot of color, especially onto her skin. Uh, so I'm trying to bring that back down a bit. That looks. See, that looks pretty good there. Now I'm gonna bring in some green here. Uh, hmm. uh, okay, I think I'm gonna go negative one, not negative 14. In the middle of recording a YouTube video, what's up? Yo. I'm supposed to know you're recording a YouTube video. What? How am I supposed to know that? I know, I'm just telling you, and now you're gonna be in my video. <laughs> For those on YouTube, this is the real Victor. He's a fucking dick. He talks to me. Bad. Alright, so now I want to try and work her skin a little bit because it is, it is certainly way too red right here. Okay, do, 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 do. so here basically all I did was I went down to HSL secondary and I took my eyedropper and clicked on her skin to try and isolate that the best I possibly can. And then you kind of just have to play around with these sliders till you are happy with your selection. Um, okay, it's not that. There we go, there we go, that's what I am looking for. Okay, um, okay, there we go, that's more like it. Okay, I want that. Can we bring this back down? No, okay, there. What about here? Is there anything here I need? Not really. Okay. And then you can always take the add Proper and try to like fill in these little gaps here. Um, okay, let's see if I can take out. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Okay, so that's gonna have to be the mask there. And then what I like to do is blur it a little bit uh, just so it mixes in a little bit nicer. And now let's go down here and let's Switch this to midtones, shadows, and highlights. Now, I see most of my red is in my shadows and midtones, so let's try to combat that a little bit, shall we? Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -da okay, and then midtone. Doo -doo. Okay, what does that look like? No, that looks awful. Okay, what about, what does that look like? Oh, okay, there we go, that, okay, hold on, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna light that up a little bit, line that up a bit, and then what I'll do is, no, the other way. 
Okay. Okay. All right. So that I believe is as good as we're going to get it just, you know, off the bat here. That looks pretty good to me actually. I like that. Okay, so next clip. Let's see if we can just copy and paste here. That actually looks pretty good. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, that looks pretty nice actually. I not. Okay, wait. Um, okay, I do see. That seems a little red to me. Okay, let's see that. Okay, I like that. Um, let me go back to curves here. Just gonna do a little something something here. Okay. My leg. And no. Okay, that looks good there. Um, save automatically. That thing is a lifesaver. And then let's play with the reds here a little bit. Okay, no, that's mainly, you can see this is mainly targeting just the lips. So we're actually gonna leave that alone and then move further into the oranges. Yeah, this is, okay, this is the skin tone here. Just gonna bring that down ever so slightly. No, that's too much. Just a little dip. And, yeah, I like that way better. Cool. Okay, now for the super red, let's see what this does. Okay, definitely still need to work on that. Okay, so let's just start right here with the skin tones. Uh, actually, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, boom, let's go to eyedropper here for hue. Okay. Yeah, no, that's too much. Um, that's too much. There, what about that? Okay, and then if we go boom, 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 let's see. Uh, raise that just slightly. No, I'm just raising the mid tones the shadows slightly there okay and then let's go to basic correction uh, let's do a little bit more blue in here there I think that looks better okay yeah that looks pretty clean guys um, let me just render this out real quick. Let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty good, guys. I like that. That looks clean. I'm pretty happy with the way that that's coming out. Uh, I like that, okay. Um, one thing to keep in mind, so something I always try to look for is over here in my exposure scope, I try to make sure that it's not clipping either at 100 or at zero too much. And for skin tones over on this scope, I forget what this is called, uh, vector scope, 
your skin tones are gonna generally want to be in this area for accurate skin tones. That's just something I've learned through millions of hours of watching on YouTube and just seeing different uh, ways that people edit their videos and what they usually tend to gravitate towards is making sure the skin tones are kind of in that uh, angular kind of space on the vector scope. Hopefully that made sense. All right, let's keep going. All right, so we are starting in a little bit more daylight here, so we might not be using the same LUT that we used before. Uh, remember that before we used the natural Rec. 709, and in this footage, we are going to use, I have a feeling actually we might end up using the same one. Let's see. Uh, okay. Let's see, 2020. Eh. Let's go back to classic. Okay, and then classic 2020. Okay, see, I kind of like classic 2020, um, except I'm going to make some global adjustments here. First, I want to make Actually, I kind of just want to make the skin tone uh, adjustment here because I kind of like the way the background color looks. So let's go to our eyedropper tool here. Let's select a color. Let's see our mask. That's not it. Um, there we go. Come back, come back together here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, all right, okay. Yes, yes, that is what I want. Yes, 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 all of that. Give me all that skin. Puts its lotion on its skin. I am so sorry for making that reference. Good Lord. It's been, it's been a day. It's been a long day. It's, it's I literally have not left my desk since nine o'clock this morning because we are getting hurricane weather bans. So super nasty outside. And also my apartment's leaking, so I have to stick around for it. Okay, I'm sorry, back to the drawing board, literally, figuratively, I don't know. Um, let's try to add this stomach. Okay, so I add the stomach and then all hell went to the shit. Okay, there we go. Okay, that looks pretty good there. Damn, that is a super clean mask, if I do say so myself. Now. Let's see what we can do with the skin. Okay, so I want to make it a little more orange in the shadows. Yes, 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 yes. And in the midtones, un poquito más. Se habla español. No, I'm just kidding. I actually speak fluent Spanish. I, that was bad. Uh. Continuing on. Okay, so add some orange in the highlights. Yes, that's too much. Okay. All right, let's see what that looks like across the board. That looks great there. Okay, beautiful. Queen, yes. Love that. In fire. Yes. Okay, let's move on to some local adjustments. Okay, boom. So we can put that away because we did a global adjustment for the skin. Now here, what I want to do is raise the shadows a bit. Okay, coo, coo, coo. Let's contrast that a bit more. Coo, coo, coo. Me gusta, me gusta. Um, just for shits and giggles, I want to try the saturation. No, I don't like the saturation. Um, ba -ba -ba. that looks sort of wonderful if you ask me. Um, no, let's just raise it. How was it before? What did I have it on? Did I really have it on? No, on 20. Okay. On 20. Boom. That looks great. Okay, here. Let's bring down the highlights a bit. Uh, ba -ba. Yeah, about 31, 30, okay. Let's add a little splash of contrast. Just a splishy splash of contrast, okay. 
Uh, looks pretty solid. I am going to try to add some saturation. Yes. Uh, so that was a little much, but that looks good. OMG, that looks phenomenal. Yes. Okay. Next one. Let's bring down those highlights a bit. Splash of the contrast. And let's go saturation, 115. Boom, look at her looking all flawless. Sorry for the cursing. Guys, I am. And that's Thunder from the Hurricane uh, Weather Band Waves. Back to the issue at hand. Let's check out all these clips, full frame, and boom shakalaka. Guys, I am so happy with how this turned out. This looks gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It's so nice. This was a rip, okay. I'm not 100% happy with this clip, um, listen, this was shot on the Leica SL2, and as you may or may not know, it doesn't do great in low light situations. And I am shooting backlit, so the sun is behind her, and I don't have much of a fill in terms of like a whiteboard or anything like that. I literally only had the boat, and the boat is yellowish orange, so that color cast is just all up on her right now. Um, so I'm not fully satisfied with how that turned out, but I think for under the circumstances that this clip was shot at, I think it's probably the best that's gonna come out. This looks great as well. I think the only thing, okay, hold on. The only thing I would love here, honestly, is if I did have like a little bounce, a uh, little white foam board or uh, the smallest of reflectors, because all I'd want is to get a little bit of light in her eyes so they don't look so dark and muddy. I, I, that's the only thing I wish I had. And moving forward, I now, I now know that and we'll probably just bring like a little, one of those little aperture lights. I have an LED like hot shoe light, but I think that would be too powerful and doesn't have great diffusion. So I probably would use one of those, one of those little aperture lights just so I can have it like there and give it just the slightest power, like 20% power I think, just to give some light into those eyes. But other than that, I think, I think this looks great. This looks awesome too. Again, you know, it's it's having to battle with that color cast of the yellow orange sailboat onto her skin makes it a little more difficult. Um, but for the most part, I mean, I'm sure I can fine tune that a little bit and you know what, we're going to. We are going to because as the late great Mamba once said, job finished? No, no we're not done. If you follow basketball or know anything uh, about basketball, that was said by uh, uh, the Black Mamba is the late, great Kobe Bryant. So let's go back here. I need to fine tune this a bit. Okay, there. That I think looks like what we want. Did I blur this a little bit or not really? Okay, 2.8, all right. Okay, so let's... See, that looks better to me. That, I think her skin tone looks better there. This is at negative 14, I added blue compared to that. So this is the new edit to that. Before, after. 
so that was just my quick little tutorial on how I go about color grading this Leica footage from the Leica SL2 and Leica SL2S. It's the exact same process for both uh, cameras and you can actually download these uh, Leica LUTs either from the Leica website, although it's a little difficult to find, or I've also shared a link down below where I have them on my website where that you can easily download them for free as well. It's just a little bit more convenient because I give you the direct link there. I forget exactly where on the Leica website is, but it definitely took me a little bit to find them. So they're just down below to make it easier for you. If you have any questions about Leica gear, about shooting with Leicas, whether that be photo or video, please feel free to reach out or leave a question down in the comments below or feel free to shoot me a DM on Instagram. I am now also on Vero, Vero, Vero. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's that app where everyone is now going to uh, the next thing. Uh, I'm under there as the same as Instagram, Victor double underscore Quintana, so you can find me there. I am also on TikTok uh, under the same username, Victor double underscore Quintana. So if you are spending time on either of those platforms, definitely check it out. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. P.S. A lot of content coming your way. Just, just strap yourselves in. Strap, just strap yourself in. I'll see you guys soon. Toodles.